You know what the most important rule of a gunfight is? Have a gun. Whatever kind of handgun you prefer for self-defense, and however great and powerful it might be, it won't do any good if it isn't on when you need it. So much talk about picking out the ideal self-defense handgun revolves around hard statistics like action, caliber, features, brand, and more. But what's often omitted is the ever-important human factor. Simply enough, people get lazy. Guns that are a pain in the butt to carry or just inconvenient get left behind. Say whatever you want about being disciplined, training up, or dressing appropriately, nothing beats the convenience and comfort of just dropping a pistol in your pocket. If you've been cruising for an easy carry pocket pistol, you're in luck. Today we're bringing you a list of the 7 very best pocket pistols on the market in 2024. And before you get to our list, consider subscribing as a channel member for exclusive content and upcoming members-only guides on guns, gear, and more. There are great benefits for you, and it will also help us continue to put out more great firearms content. Now, let's get right to it. Coming up at number 7 on our list is a pistol that is sure to please single-action fans and 1911 lovers alike. Sig Sauer's P938 SAS packs the power and performance of the 9mm cartridge, the control layout of a classic 1911, and some specialized refinements into a truly pocketable package. Measuring just under 4 inches tall, 6 inches long, and barely over an inch thick, this 7 plus 1 9mm has a sweet, crisp single-action trigger backed up by a 1911-style Ambi manual safety. It also features an innovative no-snag sighting system. SIG calls it the FT Bullseye, a tritium fiber optic sight that is embedded below the surface of the slide. It is reminiscent of the gutter snipe sights seen on early, specialized, bespoke carry guns like the ASP. You won't miss the huge, blazing dot of this sight, but it is definitely a coarse sight picture for quick, close-range work only. SIG recommends that you try to avoid shooting past 10 yards with it for best results. That said, with a little bit of practice, they are surprisingly quick and accurate to use, and this is a novel system for a pocket pistol because it totally eliminates one potential snag hazard. It also won't tear up the lining of your pocket. For single-action aficionados or folks who want a real subcompact 9mm pistol, SIG's P938 SAS is set up for superior performance right out of the factory. Before we move on to the number 6 pistol on our list, let us know if you've been keen to get your hands on some branded shooter merch like shirts, hats, hoodies, bags, and more. We might have our channel shop set up soon, so keep your eyes out. At number 6 on our list is a venerable name among true micro-compact pistols. Seacamp's LWS is a 6-shot, 32 ACP that, for a long time, had no genuine competitors. It was a unique offering on the pistol market, so much so that they were commonly just called the Seacamp. This is a tiny minimalist gun, weighing not even 14 ounces when fully loaded. 3 and a quarter inches tall and 4 and a quarter inches long, you can truly stash this pint-sized pistol anywhere. It's obvious what the Seacamp is designed for from the outset, a specialized gun for point-blank self-defense. It has no sights, a heavy DAO trigger, and a heel magazine release to help prevent accidental dropping of the mag. These pistols show excellent craftsmanship, but they have one major design quirk. They are only designed to feed hollow points. Ball ammo typically won't work in them at all. That's because hollow points, as a rule, are shorter than equivalent ball rounds, and that allows the LWS to function with an extremely short stroke of the slide. The bad news is you're going to be paying a lot more to practice with this little guy, but the upside is that you'll be getting in practice with your actual carry ammunition. As long as you give it good ammo and maintain it, Seacamp's LWS-32 will give you unrivaled, go-anywhere concealability and convenience. The number one pistol on our list is one you might not expect, so stick around to find out what it is. If you're enjoying this video so far, do me a favor and hit the like and subscribe buttons so you don't miss out on any new videos. It really helps the channel grow. Coming in at number 5 on our list of pocket pistols is the Diamondback Firearms DB9 9mm. Diamondback Firearms has a reputation for doing a little bit of everything with their products, and often doing it for a very modest price. From AR-15s to AR-10s to 5.7x28mm large format pistols, 
the company seems to take on whatever they think is interesting. I like it, and they are showing a lot of promise lately. One of the best-selling products in their lineup is the DB9, now on its fourth generation. Chambering 9mm and carrying 7 rounds if you keep one in the chamber, this pistol is one of the smallest in its size category. It measures just 14 and a half inches tall and 5 and 3 quarter inches long. You can shrink it down by another half inch using the included flush fit magazine. This is a striker fired, double action only pistol that has a surprisingly good 5.5 pound trigger pull. I say surprisingly good because Diamondback markets these guns at closeout prices. Don't call it a cheap gun though, because they handle and shoot much better than you might be expecting for the cost. As an all purpose self defense handgun, they work remarkably well. It is a little bit chunky if you're wearing dress slacks, but it can easily slip into the pocket of blue jeans, a purse, or a jacket pocket. For deep carry on a budget, Diamondback Firearms DB9 is a solid competitor in a crowded field. Number 4 on our list is the NAA Guardian in 32 ACP. Seen as something of an inspired riff on the Seacamp pistol when first introduced, the All Steel Guardian is slightly less refined but has developed a dedicated following of its own. This is another semi auto that is a genuine pocket pistol, being just shy of 3.5 inches tall and a little less than 4.5 inches long. This 6 plus 132 is again DAO and has a heavy, stacky trigger. That's a bummer, especially for a tiny pistol that is already tough to handle. But the good news is that the Guardian can feed ball ammunition unlike the Seacamp. You also get actual sights, though they are so tiny and difficult to see, you'll probably be wasting valuable time if you're trying to establish a legitimate sight picture during a self-defense encounter. Also, in stark contrast to the Seacamp, the magazine release is located behind the trigger on the side of the frame, not on the heel. Debate rages among fans of both pistols concerning which mag release is actually better for a true pocket carry gun in regards to security. I have extensive experience with both of these pistols, and I can say that as long as you're carrying them correctly and preferably in a holster, you won't have any issues with either style. If you want to save a little bit of money over the Seacamp LWS or really want the ability to shoot ball ammo, give the NAA Guardian a close look. Grabbing the number 3 spot on our pocket pistol tour is the Glock 42 and 380 ACP. For the longest time, there was a conspicuous gap in Glock's product lineup here in the United States. You could get that great Glock flavor you love in virtually any caliber and any size combo. 9mm of course, but also 40 SNW, 45 ACP, 10mm, and even some oddball cartridges like the 45 Gap and 357 Sig. Full size, long slide, compact, subcompact, whatever. But there was no 380 ACP. It took a while, but Glock did, in the end, give American shooters what they've been clamoring for, turning out the smallest Glock to date in the form of the single stack model 42. Measuring just over 4 inches tall, 5 and 3 quarter inches long, and a hair under 1 inch wide, this is obviously a standard Glock by any other metric and one with all the features that you are long accustomed to. Holding 6 plus 1 rounds of 380 ACP, the 42 has a significant reduction in capacity over other subcompact offerings in the Glock stable. That loss of onboard firepower buys you an incredibly flat and small package that can be carried in a larger pocket or made totally undetectable elsewhere on your body. It's an old joke, but it's true. If you shoot one Glock, you've shot them all. Maybe, but if you need the smallest Glock there is, the Model 42 is an obvious choice. Taking the number 2 spot on our list is the smallest cat in the Beretta family. The 21A Bobcat in 22 LR. Beretta's family of tip-up barrel pistols have a certain mystique about them. They've been made for ages in one guise or another, and there are no other guns on the market like them. Quite petite, but chunky and still fully featured. This DASA design is capable of being carried cocked and locked, and this little cat weighs just 11 and 1 half ounces unloaded. Carrying 7 rounds in the magazine and one more in the easily accessible tip-up barrel, these guns are remarkably safe and reliable. 22 semi-autos, especially tiny ones, have a reputation for being fussy when it comes to extraction and injection. But that iconic open slide design that Beretta is infamous for works to considerable advantage here. The Bobcat is a viable and surprisingly shootable option for a pocket pistol and there truly is something special about them. They are a ton of fun and always head-turners on the range. 
Performance doesn't mean giving up pride of ownership with the 21A Bobcat. It's one of my favorites and well worth a look if you don't mind going with a much smaller caliber. Beating all contestants to claim the number one spot on our list is the Ruger LCP Max, chambering 380 ACP. Ruger's LCP pocket pistol has been with us going on 15 years now and has been improved with several new design iterations. My favorite by far is the LCP Max in 380. Here we have a truly light, truly small handgun that can go with you everywhere however you want to carry it, including in your pocket. The LCP Max boasts a best-in-class 12 plus 1 rounds with the extended mag or 10 plus 1 rounds with the flush fit. Weighing just 10 and a half ounces unloaded and measuring 4 inches high by a little over 5 inches long, this handgun is squarely in the just right size category. It does so much, so well, that it is nearly a default choice for shooters shopping for a pocket pistol. It has excellent capacity, a surprisingly nice trigger, a proper slide release and magazine release, and great sights for a gun of their size. With some practice, you can push them a lot farther than you might think at first glance. The LCP Max has a few weaknesses, with the only notable one being that recoil is pretty brisk. You can get into this excellent all-around performance without breaking the bank. I'd urge you to give the LCP Max due consideration when you're out shopping for a new pocket carry pistol. That wraps up our list of the best pocket pistols on the market in 2024. From the well-rounded LCP Max to the classic cool of the 21A Tomcat and the affordable, efficient DB9, no matter what sort of pocket gun you prefer, there is one out there that will serve you well. What are your thoughts on the ideal pocket gun caliber? Do you have to have a 380 ACP, or are you okay with something smaller? There's a lot to consider, so let us know what you think down in the comments. And before you go, be sure to hit like, click subscribe, and ding that notification bell so you don't miss out on our great upcoming videos here on Guns You Can't Live Without. Until next time.